Hi everyone! We have lots of snow today, so I hope you are staying safe and doing well wherever you are in the world. And today it's the sort of the biggest snowstorm that we've had so far and the garden is looking beautiful. I did just finish filming the last planting video of my tulip bulbs and that's gonna come up real soon but I thought I'll show you a sort of beautiful look of the garden with lots of snow on it. So we are expecting a good 12 to 15 centimeters of snow and that I think it's about three four or even four or five inches of snow so this is only halfway there we're expecting um, another half to come later on but everything it's just looking super super gorgeous right now and all the panicle hydrangeas have a nice layer of thick snow on them and they are looking stunning i love this look it's not too cold i think it's about zero or minus one degree celsius so it's not too bad considering um the amount of snow that we have so it's just looking gorgeous and the two pots that i have the those are the two that contain the creeping jenny so later on what i will do is i will move the the pots into a the actual garden bed so that they will remain uh, warm throughout the winter and usually they do survive but if they don't that's okay I can easily replace them next spring so I'm gonna move over to the other side of the bed for you to see so here we are at the garden uh, bed at the front of the house there's my uh, quick fire hydrangea so this is the reason why you don't want to cut back your panicles uh, in the fall because you want them to kind of stay on the tree and on the bush and where the snow covers it and it makes it look really really magical and I just truly truly love this look so there's my um, Mr. Bowling Ball there's the Anna's Magic Ball the Dwarf Spruce looking gorgeous with lots of snow on them really really pretty so I'm just gonna come around this way so you can see from this side there you go so that's the angle of the garden from this side there's my dwarf award of spruce my crimson queen anyway it's just looking absolutely stunning and like i said i do truly just love love the snow i mean i don't like the cold but the snow is just so magical there's something about it that makes it look and it feel so warm and cozy especially when you're indoors and even when you're outdoors when it's not too cold it's not too bad right look at that with the snow cover oh there's my fescue grass Here's another closer look of the quick fire hydrant panicles covered with snow. Oh, there's my little lime right there. Mr. Bowling Ball again. There's my quick fire. There is my lilac. And these are the sedum. So this is again another reason why I didn't cut my sedum back. Um, in the fall because look at them now they're looking like these little puff of snow flowers really really gorgeous and we'll come around this way there's my spire um, boxwood and there's my mom's that I didn't get to plant. So yesterday, after filming the planting of the ball videos, I was going to split them in half and plant them into two corners here and let them winterize um, for the spring. And I didn't get a chance to do that. So I hope they are still okay. So once the weather warms up, I will try to see if I could still put them in the ground and have them come back for next year. There you go. Anyhow, 
I'm gonna go to the back and show you the video of the garden in the back right now. Hi everyone again. So I'm in the back garden now and look at this. Oh my my. And look, we did not get a chance to put away all of our furniture. And so we're gonna have to do that real soon. Anyway, life just takes over and we've been so, so busy at work. Both of us do work, my husband and I. We do work full time and so sometimes when we're so busy with young children, it's just makes it a little bit more difficult to find some time out of your day to remember to do these things. But anyhow, it's still looking gorgeous. Look at the back, look at the limelight hydrangeas, all the panicles covered with snow. And even the pots with the snow on, on it like that looks beautiful to me and magical. There's my little tiny boxwood, isn't that cute? Oh, look at that, it's still green. It just amazes me sometimes to see evergreen like that. Still growing, still green, still lush, but with snow cover. So very, very pretty. And there is my um, Wedgelia with a few green leaves on them. There's the Bobo standard that I created in the fall. There's my Eglantine rose. All my Bobos here. Bobo hydrangeas. Just slowly walking around the garden for you to see the beautiful view. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I just truly, truly love it. And that's the cedar with the snow on it. Looks pretty as well. Love the yellow color. Oh, my light trio angel, David Austin Roses. Oh, and then the couple blooms that I saw yesterday. Oh. And this is a beautiful view here as well. Just really lovely. I like looking at this angle right here. It's beautiful, gorgeous. There's my uh, comb boxwood. There's my firelight hydrangea. And then my, oh my goodness, all frozen. My penstemon. And there's my uh, invincible wee white, blue jungles. There's my other bobo stander that I created the fall before. There's my other blue Django. There's my lava lamp flare and my other boxwood. So I did cut back the clematis here all the way to the ground because it had a little bit of clematis wilt. And um, I'm going to, when it starts to melt, I will dig out some of the soil and replace some of it with new soil, hoping that it will um, get rid of the clematis wilt that I had on the plants. There it is. Looking gorgeous. There's my other firelight here as well. And then my rose, Lutchfield Angel at the front. I have Marie, Rose, Rose Marie, and then an Evelyn in the back. This is just really, really gorgeous. There's my other cedar, bobo, my other eglantine rose, and then my limelight. My William Morris rose is here, and the limelight standard that I just created this fall. And my little box with right there. Anyhow, so I want to thank you so, so much for watching this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And stay safe, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching now. Bye-bye now.